now let's continue with the bullish exit rules which is actually the same as bearish exit rules so we're gonna do only one of these again and that's good i'm gonna do at the same time the indicator exits these are basically the same kind of thing it's just do in two different areas to keep each of these blocks shorter so first is the time entry you can run it until expiration or defined duration. When you're doing weekly charts, defined duration is probably the only thing that makes any sense because the expiration is in days. But when you're doing something like intraday trading or shorter term swings, you may wish to experiment with the expiration exits. So here you could say expires 10 days from today and probably on the weekly chart. Well, does it make any sense? No, it doesn't. <laughs> because it's the same same week no no actually that that could make sense well it's not the same week it's kind of the next week or the week week after that so basically keep open maximum two no a maximum one all right expired there does it doesn't make much much sense on the weekly chart but daily and below starts to make sense unless you do something like 180 days and now it probably starts to make some sense right there it made sense good and the results are great as well Cool. Awesome. Defined duration is what I tend to use here, whatever where, where my settings are. It might, it might have been 18. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Exit minutes before for day trading. If you don't want to hold until the first hour, set something like 55 or, or 65 or whatever here, or 60. Max duration before closed is actually, yeah, the, yeah, this one. Because this, when it's defined duration, the duration is defined here. So 18 bars was what I was looking at, or 18 months, 18 weeks, sorry. So next one is, the, where do we take, take the targets from? And actually, this should logically be before behind the stops. So I'll, I'll go through the stops first. First one is, where when does your stop trigger? Is it on touch of the stop or on close below the stop? The stop is here this dotted line. So now you've got a stop 10% below something. Below what? Stop is taken from either close, which would be the top of the green line, green uh, candle, the low, which, which would be the low here, or the low finder, which goes to look for the low eight candles in the past. So zero one two three four five six seven eight so it would be from this low to here should be ten percent let's verify that right now you can do this and you should do this sort of stuff also on your own that is pretty exactly ten percent with the precision of my drawing skills without zooming in at all so that's how it works from here to here is ten percent from here to here is much more than ten let's check you want to know these things when you're setting up your trade. So just go and measure that 16.5%. So now your stop is at 16.5. Okay. Now we're going to the targets. The profit target is either from close. So in here, it would be 3% from close or low or low finder. Or then you can do risk multiplier, which is what I've done. So now this is three times the risk here. The risk was 16.5%. So, so the risk here should be actually, sorry, the risk is more because the risk is from, 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 from. The risk is always from the point where you buy and the point where you buy is at the end when the signal is confirmed you don't do early buys or if you do you're not using this strategy so 20 percent a bit over so that should be roughly 60 percent above right i'm gonna do it from here to here and it's 60 something 63 so so that's the logic so if you want to do this is basically three to one risk reward ratio setup profit target three risk multipliers from the stop and the stop is from the low finder which you need to measure yourself so that becomes a little bit difficult to maybe see directly from the chart but if i take 10 percent from the low what happens is this is now 10 percent and that's now 30 percent and what happened here 
is that my results became much worse. So that's why I use the low finder. Average win 8.9 percent. Average, uh, sorry, average result is 8.9 percent, and average win size 23 percent. Average loss size 9.4 percent. 56 percent winners. If I use the low finder, I've got pretty much the same amount of probability to win. Bigger loss, slightly bigger loss, a lot bigger average win, and the average result is a lot larger. So why use low finder? usually gives better results especially on slower charts experiment find what suits for you and this is how the first block of the exit rules work so you set your stop you set your profit taking things oh the expiration target all right so this is for option traders